is going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. Right guys, in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is looking at Mr. Porter Online. Now, Mr. Porter is a UK-based luxury premium retailer. They've been going on for quite a long time and they've got lots of really cool exclusive designer brands on there, okay? So what I thought would be fun is for me to get in some items and do like an outfit kind of haul and just kind of look and look at an outfit that I've just selected that I could pull off and just see what type of items they got on there and just have a look at some of the bits in more detail, okay? Now, now, now. Mr. Porter positions itself as an online style and fashion destination for men. With over 450 international brands available on their online store and with free weekly updates of new collections coming in every week. If you're living in London, they also offer a same day service where they can deliver items to you in the same day. And for our New York followers, they also do the same over in New York as well. So if you order an item earlier on in the day, you can expect that to arrive with you on the same day. The type of brands that Mr. Porter stock are brands like Gucci, Laura P. APC, Ralph Lauren, Amiri, and I love the fact that they've got Nike on there as well. So a little touch of sportswear, which is really good. They also publish their own magazine called Mr. Porter, which comes out six times a year. And they also have a weekly journal, which covers lots of really interesting things within the men's fashion scene, from collaborations, new releases, and up and coming designers as well. So the Mr. Porter brand really does see itself as a place where men can not only buy clothing, but also get fashion tips, style, inspiration, and you know, lots of content related to men's fashion. So listen, it's about time I've got some stuff from Mr. Porter. I've actually got this box in, which you can see right here. I've gone on the site, checked it out, found some stuff which I thought was really cool. I also wanted to try and get some brands, which is not always the same type of brands that I've covered on the channel. Now remember, if you do like any of the stuff on this video, just jump down into the description box below. You'll be able to find all the items that I've listed here. You should be able to find them straight away, okay? Let's crack on with this video. Let's see what all this stuff say in there. Two seconds. Now, one of the things that I already love about Mr. Porter is the packaging. Like the way they style themselves, the way they do their packaging is just really cool. So if you're also looking for that kind of offline experience as well, like when you receive the item in the packaging, then you know, Mr. Porter does a really good job. So let me show you that real quick. Nice sturdy box, Mr. Porter on there. And then when you open it up, Nothing like a bit of tissue paper that says luxury all over it. So yeah, just kind of gaff to see what's in this. So let's have a look real quick. It looks so nice. I don't even want to damage it after opening it. That's the first item that I ordered is the Aurelibor Brown Gilet. Now when I saw this, I thought it looked really, really nice. And I know a lot of people have been sending in questions about gilets and things like that, wanting to know what type of gilets are available. So I thought I'd get that in. So that's really cool. The next item I found was a Mr. He, Mr. Porter's own knit. Now you guys know I love chunky knits. Love me some chunky knits. But yeah, Mr. Porter are doing their own menswear collection. So it was really cool to see this. And when I saw the chunky knit on it, I thought I had to go and see exactly what it's saying. So yeah, so this one's quite nice. So that's quite cool. Let me have a look at that. And the next thing that I got is this Beams sweat, kind of sweat type pants, which I thought was really nice, really unique, and a little bit different as well. Cargo pants and stuff like that. I find them quite comfortable to wear, and just easy to put on, and just very little effort for me. So yeah, something like this is just nice, casual, and just very easy. Right, so this is the outfit basically guys, this is it. So see I've got the Mr. P knitwear top, which is really nice, really loving the quality of this. It's really kind of thick. So it's made in Italy from an Italian wool blend. The quality of it feels really nice. I mean, for me, usually around the winter time, thick chunky knits for me is it's it's usually where, where I'm at so I just feel for me it's just like really kind of comfortable you just feel snug in the winter if you don't have a thick chunky knit I do recommend during the winter time compared to some of the other brands that I've had in thick chunky knits this actually feels really nice I'm really liking the quality of it I mean I think the color is just very simple and plain and I think it goes well with the Aurelibor brown gilet now moving on to the gilet it is called the Isaac gilet now the gilet is made from a water and wind resistant outer material 
material construction, which is really good considering you got brands like Moncler, for example, who have really expensive gilets and they're not water resistant. But it does have um, down and feather insulation, so I can already feel this does feel quite puffy. Yeah, the zips are really nice, nice kind of metallic zips. I think that kind of works really well with the blue color as well. I'm loving this type of two-tone type material as well on the top. So you've just got some extra padded protection here on the shoulders and then you've got this nice nylon water resistant material. And it just goes to show that you can actually make um, nylon water resistance. I'm not sure why brands like Moncler don't really do that. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more alternative from the typical Canada Goose or Moncler, then something like the Oralibo Brown, I think is a really nice touch. The design in mind for this is for those type of days when you're, you know, you're not really too sure what to wear. You wanna go for like a thicker jacket or a lightweight jacket. Sometimes outside it's kind of hard to judge the weather. When you have something like a gilet and a knit or a sweat, it's just kind of easy wear. You're not too hot and you're not too cold and you're just kind of free to move around. So yeah, so, what are you feeling this one? Now obviously Mr. Porter being within the men's fashion space and kind of thought, you know, what can we do to add our own kind of unique touch to this? And they've come up with the Mr. P line. When I saw some of the designs and some of the different things they had on there, I actually quite liked it. It looked quite mature, it looked quite clean, quite undercut, but then it looked like it used quality materials as well, which I think is important, especially when a brand is making clothes that are quite plain and doesn't have much to make it stand out apart from the color. And like here, you can see the cable knit designs on the top of this knit is actually really cool so yeah you can see the kind of chevron patterns that they've got going at the top and then we've got patterns going down on the mid which i think is really nice i think that's a really nice touch now now i thought it was interesting what mr porter said is that they've actually thought about their employees that worked within their offices and they looked at what they wore day to day they said they thought you know what we'll take inspiration from that and try to make some really cool day-to-day -day wear but stuff that has lots of quality lots of kind of minor little bits of detail so it's just a little bit understated and I I think it's worked really well personally. Shout out to Mr. Porter for doing their own collection. A lot of retailers try to do their own collections, but they don't always seem to work out because you know it's quite difficult to establish yourself as a brand when you're a retailer. But in this instance, I think Mr. P have actually tried and pulled it off. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of liking this, not too bad. If you liked any of the items in this video, make sure you jump down to the description box below. It's all gonna be in the links down there, guys, so make sure you check it out, okay? So the next thing I wanna talk about is the Beams pants. Now, I'm absolutely loving these because the, when I've put them on, I can feel already that they are kind of slim fitted which is really nice but not overly tight but just a little bit slim fitted as it goes narrows down towards the ankle so Beams is actually a Japanese brand which is based over and founded in Tokyo so the pants are actually made from a mid-weight cotton material and they feel really nice nice so they're not too heavy but they're not too light at the same time and this for me is going to be really nice and practical but personally I think that whole outfit works really well it's just kind of more day-to-day -day run around type outfit so I thought I'd try and pull off something that's a little bit different. Sometimes what I personally do is I use Mr. Porter to find brands that might not be available in a lot of the other retailers. So they do spend a lot of time kind of looking for more understated kind of premium I would say maybe slightly, you know, some of the other retailers that I might use, they might not always sell some of the brands that I do see on Mr. Porter. So I'm, I also use them as a bit of a reference to see what's kind of cool or what's happening. So that's it. If you liked any of the items in this video, make sure you jump down to the description box below. It's all gonna be in the links down there, guys. So make sure you check it out, okay? I'm out of there. Lots more coming. Peace out.